Hey, this is Vlad from the Insurance Sales Lab. And in this video, I want to show you how to structure your day if you are a team member working in an insurance agency. Whether you do just sales or sales and service, this will apply in your day to day. The first thing I want to establish is that there is not a good or the best time of the day to be making phone calls. Some people say that they want to make calls in the morning or during lunch or in the end of the day between four and six. None of that really matters. Uh, yes, there are studies that say that people pick up the phone better at uh, certain times of the day, but the increase is very marginal. It's not significant. But even if it was, what do you do the rest of the day? If you're a sales producer, your job is to sell. So when you show up to the office at nine o'clock, then you should be selling all day, not picking and choosing what time of the day you're going to be dialing. Dial all day. And the person who's going to make the most amount of phone calls, talk to the most amount of people, and get to the end of the call where they ask for the sale is ultimately who's going to win. So let's go ahead and jump into the structure of your day. When you show up to the office, the first thing that you wanna do for the first 20 to 30 minutes of the day is role play the sales conversation. You could practice objections. Uh, some of my favorite objections to role play are, um, your quote sounds great, but let me think about it and I'll get back to you. And then the other team member has to overcome that objection. Or another very common objection that you probably get is, email me your quote, I'll take a look at it, and then I'll get back to you. So have one team member use that objection and the other team member overcome that objection. Um, and there's a multitude of objections that you get on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you're not using this script right here, the six step script to the one called close, then you should be using this in your agency. Uh, this script is without a doubt the most powerful sales script in the insurance industry. And if you're not using this script, you and your team are missing out on a lot of sales opportunities. Make sure you get access to it. There's a link right below this video to get access to that script. So you take the first 20 to 30 minutes to role play the sales conversation. Nine o'clock hits and the first thing that you should do before you check your emails, before you do anything else, is call your urgent leads. Now your urgent leads are any new leads that came in that morning or that night where those are people who are shopping for insurance. You want to tackle those before you contact anybody else. There's a stat out there that you have to contact people within the first five minutes of when they come in as a new lead. That has shrunk over the years where you have to contact them within five to 10 seconds of, from the time that they come in. But if you get new leads that came in overnight, then there's only so much you can do. Nine o'clock hits, you gotta be the first one to contact those leads. Don't call anybody else before you contact your new leads. You with me so far? All right, let's keep going. The second group of people are your hot leads. These are people who haven't said no. Uh, they want to switch to you. They told you that they want to switch to you. Maybe they've even given you a specific date of when they want to switch to you, but they haven't yet pulled the trigger. They haven't given you their payments information. They haven't fully submitted all of the documentation for you to start the policy. That's who you want to concentrate second after you're done with the urgent leads. And the reason you want to contact those people next is because these are people who are, they're at the finish line. They're at the, they're at the one yard line. They just need to say yes and give you the payments information and you are ready to have them be a new client in your agency. That is who you want to contact second. The third group of people are your warm leads. These are people who might have asked for a quote and you've been calling them day after day, but they haven't yet answered the phone. You do not call these people if you, unless you have fully contacted your new leads and you have contacted each one of your hot leads. You with me so far? All right, once you have contacted these three categories, only then do you contact your cold list of leads. And what's funny about that is I see some team members show up to the office and they start calling off of a spreadsheet and they start cold calling. And then 
you ask them if they have any hot leads or new leads that just came in, and they do. Uh, in fact, I had an agent, what prompted this whole video is I had an agent call me uh, just a few days ago and he said, Vlad, I have three team members and every day when they show up to the office, their day looks all, is always different. One day they're calling old leads first and then they contact new leads and then they do it the other way around. There's no consistency. And he asked me what the best sequence is and this is what I gave him. And since they started implementing that in their day to day, they started closing a lot more of the new leads and ultimately they started closing more business because the people who were already at the finish line ended up switching over their insurance to this agency. So that's what I encourage you to do. This is the sequence that I want you to follow. And most importantly, remember that there is not a perfect time for you to be making phone calls. You should be making phone calls throughout the entire day. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. And if you do not already have this script, the most powerful script in the insurance industry, make sure you download it. There's going to be a link below this video. You take care.